Like 1500 baby Pokemon team. No, okay, this is a real team. This is a real team. Happy guy, fate of Nate Arthur. How's everyone doing? This team absolutely hates Eveltal. Like, look at their Eveltal answers. They have zero. Foul play. Oh, I don't have foul play. Dark moves in general. Just you go by. Bye bye. Like, that's that's the thesis of uh, this guy's team. Also, like, Incinero Eveltal, like, that goes hard. Uh, definitely want to bring my Zacian. Uh, but I got to be a bit careful versus that Galarian Articuno. Because obviously, if it doesn't get one shot, then it... it oh, I should, I should not lead off with Incinero action now that I think about it. Um... Because there is a Galarian Articuno. Uh, but yeah, uh, I can lead off Zacian and Eveltal, and that deals with Articuno and pretty much everything. I bring the Incineroar in the back, so I don't intimidate the Articuno on lead. And my last Mon, um, how do I like Thunderous? How much do I like Thunderous? It isn't that great. Honestly, I think I get away with Blastoise a lot more. And th they have two Dragons and a Flying type and a Psychic type, so Komodo is nothing. Hey Moxie, so glad you're streaming. Been having the absolute worst week. How's it doing? Uh, how's, how's, how's it doing? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the question that way, the wrong way. How's it doing, Ritzcracker? What's up? Hacking stream one. I got the glasses on. I just need like the anime glare. I can't do it. Hold on. Let me let me get the glare in there. Hold on. Full screen, face cam. Let me see if I can get the anime glare. There we go. Hold on. Let me... Almost there. There it is. There it is. There's the glare. Now I can hack. Okay. Anyways. Feels like you stream once a month. I mean, I used to stream like three times or four times a week. But the issue is I haven't been able to because I was just busy with school. Uh, but now I got a lot more time. I'm going to snarl here. And... Do I want to sub? I kind of want to substitute. I feel like a substitute's a really good idea because Snarl deals with pretty much everything Giratina wants to go with, and it also calls and and the substitute also deals like a Will O Wisp coming out from the Giratina. Earthquake. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm cool with that. I suppose I dodged it. I was expecting a Will O Wisp to be honest, or like a weakness policy set, something like that. Are they going to Trick Room on me? If they do, they lose. That does so... Why did that do 50% to your Cresselia? Oh, that's why. I was like, what's your Cresselia spread that you're getting two shot by Snarl? Trick Room? Icy Wind. Um, fine by me. Fine by me. I mean, we've established that they're probably just going to Earthquake again. They are probably in Sucker Punch range. And that makes me want to go for a Substitute again. I think Sucker Punch Substitute's not a bad idea. Will that KO? I'm pretty sure Sucker Punch does a lot more than a Snarl would. It's a little bit risky, but I'm going to go for it. The customer that spit in my face called Corporate and they fart. What? How does that even happen? They spit in your face. I don't even know how they do that. Like, how do you get fired because the customer spit in your face? That's funny that I live. That is really funny. I failed to get the substitute off, but honestly, I'm not even concerned about this turn. I'm just going to go ahead and target the Cresselia with a Behemoth Blade and deal with it. Uh, a little bit surprised they live the Sucker Punch. A little bit surprised. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going to outspeed the Cresselia. I just want damage. Shadow Sneak. Oh, okay. This is a very physically offensive um, Giratina. Kill my Sucker Punch. How much do I care? There's a light screen. Um, how screwed am I? Not that screwed, to be honest. Okay. I think I know my play. They shouldn't be able to beat me with a Kartana in the back since I have Incineroar and Veltal and I can just deal with it that way. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the Snarl because it does massive damage to both. And I'm actually just gonna cannonade here. I don't mind that they set up a light screen. Like, there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Um, but cannonade damage is gonna rack up against them. That's gonna be really big. Yeah, Ritzcracker, that sounds awful. I have no idea how... Like, how does someone, like, do that? How you doing, Jessica? Helping hand. Um, watch them actually, like, phantom force me. Dragon Claw, that's fine. I take, like, nothing. They're really, like, leaning into this thing, not Dynamaxing, and that's kind of funny. All right. So I'm glad I got that off. Um, I should be able to KO this Giratina unless I miss. I didn't. What team is this? My team or their team? And... All right. Uh, Cresselli is guaranteed to go down next turn. Due to the cannonade damage. If there's a Kartana... <coughs> Excuse me, I just choked him out and spit. If there's a Kartana, I send in my um, Incineroar and deal with it, but if there isn't, I'm still in a good spot. Landorus. Yeah, I'm not concerned. No, you're getting... You're getting Shnaynade on. Yeah, no, that that's definitely uh that's a, that's a lawyer situation, dude. I would assume that's a lawyer situation if the dude is actually going to spit on you. Uh, does hailstorm do more? Cannonade 150 times uh 1.5 or times 1.5 times two, that is uh 300. That's 450. This times four, that is 13 times four. That's four. Uh, hailstorm does more. You know, if, if they're going to, if the company expects you to get spit on and just take that, like, that's, that's messed up. Alright, there's the helping hand. I'm gonna get rock slid. I believe that's the term, rock slidded. Oh, I, I, I just slid it and farted, what? Like, how did that miss? I have no idea why you haven't Dynamax yet, dude. Are you just letting me win? Oh no, it lived! The Focus Sash! Wow! Alright, there are two forms of residual damage on the field now. I hope you enjoyed your Landrus' time on this Earth, but it has come to an end. Bubs UGC just went 12 and 3. Hey, congrats! Congratulations on graduating. Oh, dude, thank you so much. Like, I, I, here's the thing. I haven't graduated yet. I have a lot of really difficult classes this semester, but I'm almost done. I got just a few more weeks. Just a few more weeks, like a month and a half. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how they expect to win this at this point. I got a Sucker Punch Pokemon on my side of the field. I'm just going to Hailstorm. What am I majoring in? I am a physics major. Freezing? They're going to freeze me. I, I call it right here. They're going to freeze me. No? Okay. Yeah, I'm a VGC major. What kind of job you're looking for? Uh, engineering, research, literally anything. I'd like to go into a material science more than anything. But uh, I applied to like 16, 17 jobs today and yesterday, so I'm just throwing myself at everything I can find. The three matches and losing. Luke Aboop, prediction, babies. No, real team, cool. A semi semi real team. They have one they have one restricted. We actually have a bingo card, but I don't feel like filling it out this time around. You guys remember the bingo card? I lost it by the way. I don't have it on my computer anymore. Uh they have absolutely nothing for Eveltal beyond that Zacian, and I'm gonna take full advantage of that. 
because I should be able to lead off with Zashini Veltal myself. I'm going to bring my Incineroar. And in the back... Actually, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? They got... I don't have to lead off. They got nothing for Blastoise. Look at their... Look at their whole zero Blastoise switch-ins. If they don't lead off with a fake-out Pokemon, Blastoise gets this for free. Alright, uh, and we'll go... They have also no Zashian check-ins. Or check-ins. Checks. And Incineroar. Make a new bingo card? Eh, I don't feel like it. That, that Articuno is definitely the shiny one. That's my prediction. Imagine having zero Pokemon to do a Blastoise. Mian Shao and Zacian. Let's play a game called Is it the um the guy, the dude? Is it is it um the you me you is Is it the Zorark? There we go. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word, so I was stalling. Okay, uh controversial yet correct play. I'm gonna go ahead and just send in I I'm I'm just gonna KO this the Sashin. I don't even care. I'm going to go into my Incineroar. I don't need to set up the Rain Dance. Zacian never KOs this dude. Even if he coaches, he's stinky, and he's about to become a wet dog. And you know what we do with wet dogs? We tell them, go outside and dry off in the sun. And then when you come in, I'll give you a, a milk bone or whatever those treats are called. Rookie Crit Woodhammer into Grimstone. What? What kind of game are you playing right now? What if they didn't fake out and I could have thunder waved? That'd be funny. What if they wide guarded expecting, I don't know, anything besides this move? Sacred sword. That does less than a behemoth blade would have. Imprison. I, I suppose I can't close combat anymore. Wait a minute. No, that's the that's the Zorark. That's that's just the Zorark. Like that's definitively a Zorark. Unless of course it is if I can't fake out, that means that it, it is actually the Mian Xiao. But I don't know if Mian Xiao actually gets imprisoned. Let's see if I can fake out. Um it is correct to do this. Can I fake out? Yeah, no, that's that's the Zorark. That's the Zorark. Whoa! It's the Zorark! Crazy! I love that. And you've lost your only restricted. I mean, I learned that today, too. Zorark learns in prison. You're running Brick Break Zot. It gets Brick Break? I didn't even know it got Brick Break. Yeah, I don't, I don't... I think they were trying to block Snarl? Or... Maybe they just have Protect. Maybe they're just trying to block a Protect. I don't know. Usually, if you're running in prison, you have to run Protect on it for it to be even worth running. Or it's like, a, what if it's like a hacked Zorark with a Behemoth Blade, Sacred Sword, and Play Rough? That'd be funny. Oh my god, boys. It's Galarian Articuno. Okay, uh, that is going to be the target of my next Thunder Wave. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hydro Cannon you. I'm just going to Thunder Wave the Articuno anyway, so I'm not really concerned with keeping my Incineroar. Um, I can attempt to Parting Shot out. But I'm not going to parting shot the Articuno because that would be an awful idea. But I also don't want to hard switch anything in. Here's the thing about Articuno. Oh, what if it's side sucker punch weakness policy? What if that's what I'm about to face? That'd be actually kind of fire. I cannot lie. What if it's side sucker punch weakness policy? Oh, well, that answers that question. No. Okay, that's fine. 
Uh, my next play will be to remove your speed forever. What? Imagine how busted it would be if. Um, what was I gonna say? Imagine how busted it would be if you could actually. Jeez, that does a lot. Why does that do so much to Dynamax Mons? Imagine how busted it would be if the um, Cannonade turns or the Vocalith or like the Vine Lash turns reset each time you used it. Imagine. Just kidding. Don't. It scares me. Okay. Uh, I have quite a few options here. I'm probably just going to get faked out on my Thunderous, but they shouldn't be able to one-shot my Thunderous due to the fact I'm super, super cool. I'm going to go for the Water Spout damage, and I'm going to attempt to Thunder Wave you, but I really doubt it's going to go off because they're going to fake out. But they shouldn't be able to one-shot me because I'm special defensive. Oh, no, they just don't even bother. Okay, well, I'm now faster than the Articuno with my Blastoise, I think. Uh, there's the Rock Tomb. Interesting play if I was, you know... Oh, that was a crit, too. I was going to say, that did quite a bit. Interesting play if I was, like, defiant. That wouldn't be great for them. I feel like I still live the max move now. That does so much to Mien Shell. What? And they get fully par... I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, you know what? We get to finish this game the way God intended, and that's by clicking Rain Dance into Water Spout. Because I'm still faster. Am I? I was not paying attention to the turns there, to be honest. I just noticed it got fully paralyzed. Goodbye, Articuno. Change the world. My final message. I'm not faster? Okay, I'm stupid then. Regardless, this is going to go off. They're going to get fully paralyzed. Oh no, I am faster. Goodbye. Sicko mode. Very poggers game for our uh, for our buddy Blastoise there. This man's got Squirtle, Bulbasaur plus Cole and Zar. Dude, you're facing Ash Ketchum. And he just has like a very nice voice to commentate things. He goes, "Okay." He doesn't say mate. I think he. I think once he said my mates, once. Like I. I, I can never hear him use like. I guess the term would be in Australia-ism, like something that they say over there. But like, I, I, I never have, I've never heard him say something like that. Maybe I've heard him say mate once. Uh, this is THE Eveltal game. This is what Eveltal was made for. This is gonna be the Eveltal Thunderous game, low-key. Like, honestly, like, what do they do versus it? I'm a little concerned about Nuzzle on the Emolga. Emolga could be a nightmare for this team. But I think as my last mod, they got two water types. I'm a, I mean... This isn't a terrible Kamoa game, but it's also not a great Blastoise game. I'm going to bring the Kamoa. It, it's, it's been too long since I used it. I'm Australian. I normally don't use Aussie slang. See, I would assume that that's like a thing that depends on where you're from in Australia. Because like in the US, I, that, that, that's, a, that's a thing everywhere, right? In the US, I don't say y'all. But I, I'd imagine in other countries, they might have the impression that United States... Uh, citizens probably say y'all, but it, but that's just like a southern thing. So I'd imagine that it depends on where you're from in Australia if you say things like mates. I don't know. I gotta ask him. I mean, I say yeehaw. Well, of course, everyone in the U.S. says yeehaw. Have you never been to a wedding? Do you take the bride... In, in in marriage, through good health and bad, through good times and bad, through good teams and bad, and then you go, yee-haw, and then you're married. Everyone knows that. What are you, dumb? Literally everyone knows that. This is day one stuff, dude. This is day one. Also, non-drizzle polytoad. Okay, um, non-drizzle polytoad, hello? Do I just... 
I, I honestly don't know what to switch into because I don't want... I still don't want to get nuzzled. I still don't want to get nuzzled. Like, that's the thing. If she ain't the ye to your haw, is she really... Is that specs? Don't be specs. That looks specs, even though I didn't take... Oh, that's life orb. I was going to say, even though I didn't take that much damage, I am assault vested, so that would be interesting. Okay, uh, they don't really have very many switches to this, so... Dark Pulse would still chunk everything that comes in. Why are you not Drizzle? Like, faux shizzle, like, why are you not? Umbreon. Okay, so that's, like, the few things that it doesn't chunk. Um... Thunderbolt does nothing. I don't want to get yawned upon... I don't have very many... Yo? Wait. Hold on. Is it finally time? Is it finally time? Can I finally do something here? I can't even... I can't... I'm gonna Thunderbolt this, but I'm fairly certain the Emolga is just gonna come back in. Water Reserve Polytoad, I, I suppose... Helping hand. What are you going for? Ice beam? Don't ice beam me, dude. Please don't ice beam me. All right, that did half, which is great. Fully paralyzed. He did ice beam. He did, in fact, ice beam. But that's into Thundee, which I'm fine with because special defense. Don't freeze. Thank you. It is at this point in time, I, Marcos Boosted Perez of the Moxie variety, am going to iron defense. And I'm also going to get in my Evel Tall. And here's why. I hate Umbreon. And I expect that they would want to protect here. And go for like a Snarl, a Yawn, something. I would imagine a Snarl just to make sure they don't drop to a Thunder, a Thunderbolt. But if I can get this, if I can get this Iron Defense off, I'm happy for the rest of the game. Okay. They protect there. I'm fine with that. Can you protect there as well? No? What are you going for? If it's anything not titled uh, Perish Song, I'm happy. Ice Beam. That's that's fine. I'm special defensive. I don't get frozen. I don't... Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I was like, I don't get frozen. And now I'm not in a terrible position. I'm really not. I'm going to Dynamax uh, my Eveltal. And this is a controversial play. Believe me. I know it is. Because I'm making it. I'm going to double this guy. Because it protected last turn. So this should be a free KO on pretty much anything that comes in. But it also allows me to... Okay, cool. Uh, even if it's the Emolga, I'm happy with this. Because this is going to do a chunk. It is the Emolga. Protect your Politoed. I hate losing to body press mons. Rip Combozo. <laughs> rip Bozo. Rip Combo. Rip Combozo. Alright. Uh, put your predictions. I'm going to say this is going to do 75% total to the Simulga. Protect. Thank you. That was the perfect turn. 75% total. Watch it be static Emolga. I'd lose my mind if I just... Oh, that was a crit. That wasn't a crit. Is that thing special defense just that bad? I thought I had decent bulk. Goodbye. Okay. Um, I now have a plus two defense Kamoa with body press and and I'm at plus one speed. So I'm I'm pretty much I, I think I win. You're assuming it's EV The rest of the team seems legit. Like it's a good ish I, I just realized we're facing i just realized what we're facing like there's <laughs> like there's there's uh there's no um what's it called there's no drizzle on this polytoad so maybe maybe you're right actually you know maybe you got a point 
I had to stop myself. I'm like, wait, the rest of the team's fine. On paper it is, but on, in practice there's no ability on this guy. Alright. Oh, they Dynamaxed? And it's the Politoed? And they're gonna protect the Umbreon? And I'm gonna get a KO with Body Press? Dude? Did you forget to register for not? I don't blame you, this one came up quick. It feels like it's been like a week since the last. Yo? Netball? <laughs> They're a Netball Umbreon. Like, I, I thought that was the Politoed. Their Politoed has no drip. Critical hit. Probably, that's BS, dude. That's BS, not realizing I doubled it. Max Umbreon destroys legendary spammer XD, 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 XD. Like, dude, imagine calling someone out for being a legendary spammer in Anything Goes. I never understood those titles. Like, when you're when you're making a YouTube video and it's like, destroying legendary spammer with not fully evolved mo uh, not fully evolved mons, and it's like, dude, we're playing Anything Goes. This is the legendary spamming tier. That's what we're supposed to do. Like, you're calling them out on something that they're supposed to be doing if they're playing the game right in that tier. At least, not right, because, you know, there isn't a right way to play the game. But there is an optimal way to play the game for the tier that you're trying to play it in. And that's what they're doing. And people, like, really enjoy seeing these people get what's coming to them when it's like they're just playing the game. You're cringe for complaining about it. Anyways, uh, this is going to be like the one and only time the Kamo gets like 90 KOs. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm someone who likes to use creative teams. Like, that's the whole basis of my channel. There's a Kamo on screen right now. There's a Blastoise in the back. Less creative, but it is a Blastoise. But there's a Kamo on screen right now. I like to use creative things. I'm not going to complain that my opponent's trying to win. That's like going to a boxing match. You know, getting your gloves on and then being like, Hey, he hit me back. Hey, stop blocking. Like, you know, they're just playing the game. Does anyone know if Jamie Boyd has a wet dog team? I honestly don't know if Jamie Boyd's used it yet. Jamie Boyd probably has like 97 Lorantis teams, 12 Liopards, a Thievil or two, but like no wet dog. something in a way that other people are not, but you're getting the same result. And creative means you're doing something in a way that is different from other people. And those are like the same thing, but one of the, but the other one implies that you, you end up at the same place. So I guess that makes sense. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm bad at speaking. <laughs> Alright, what am I trying to do here? Uh, This looks like a great Blastoise game if that's Support Thunderous, but the fact that there's a Tornadus makes me think that that's not Support Thunderous. And that's a little bit crazy. That's that's a little shrazy. Uh, I'm going to go Thundy Blastoise myself, though. I'm going to go Zashin in the back, and I think I have to bring my Evel Tall. Hey, thank you for the follow, Fate of Nate with the sub, or for, for the follow. Thank you for the sub, Fate of Nate. I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm the, uh, I'm like the middle point between creative players and standard players. Like, I try to do both. I try to, like, merge the two. Okay, how much you want to bet? I'm about to ruin this man's whole day. How much you want to bet I'm going to ruin this man's whole day by having him think that I'm about to Dynamax my Thunderous, but I'm not. Actually, I should probably... I should 100% be targeting down this guy right here. Let me go for the Rain Dance. I really hope that you are support and that you are not... Um... AV physical. That'd be great. Oh, he's AV physical. He's AV physical. 
I should be able to live one hit Dynamaxed. Uh, the only thing is if they double into me, which they probably will. But I suppose the ideal thing here would be if they doubled into the Thunderous. But I really doubt they do. I think that they're going to at least max Lightning my Blastoise. Which, like I said, I can take one of these hits, just not both. And if I lose my, if I lose my Blastoise, it's in my best interest just to forfeit here. For the sake of time. Let's go! Alright, I sh if I don't get KO'd, which I might, I should be taking away this Thunderous. If it's not AV, I'm definitely taking away this Thunderous. At the very least, I'm going to get damage off here, I think. And then I can Thunder Wave the Zacian, and then that's winnable. Alright. Live! Breathe! Breathe, Zap! <laughs> breathe, Blastoise! Breathe! <laughs> okay. Now, uh... Now, now, uh, now kill. Please, kill. I bet you we're going to do more. If he's not AV, we're doing more than he did to us. Percentage-wise. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's that good stuff. That's that good stuff right there. Okay. Uh, I can Thunderbolt that thing. I'm going to Max Guard Thunderbolt. They can't stop me. They literally can't stop me. Actually, isn't it in my best interest to Thunder Wave here? It's probably better just to Thunder Wave here. I have a better chance of winning if I if I get this Thunder Wave off. Oh, yo? Yo? Incineroar? Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Big facts. Big facts. Um, Understandable. I definitely need to get a Thunder Wave off in that Zacian. That's the issue here. Alright, Max Lightning into the Blastoise, please. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to get faked out here. I can attempt to double protect. Yeah, double protect is optimal here. Dude, I'm so ready for Contrary Enam Enamorous. Yeah, no, I got nothing that wants to switch in on Max Lightning. So I'm going to attempt the Max Guard again. And I'm going to try to Thunderbolt here. There's not really a reason to... Does it go down? It doesn't go down next turn, I believe. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt here. I'm probably going to get faked out, though. Alright, I'm going to land the first max guard, double max guard of my career. I've never actually gotten one of these before. I've gotten double protects once in a while. Probably less than other players, but I'm going to get the double max guard. You just have to have confidence. I, okay. Bye, Blastoise. And the fake out. Okay. Alright, there it is. Alright, goodbye. And the lightning. Now, good news is... We traded our max mons, but I got significantly more out of this exchange than they did. Like a lot more. Like like a significant amount. You go down anyways? You don't go down anyways. Okay. How do I do this? Um I think I go Zashi in here. I go Zacian, and uh, my Zacian is speed crept to be faster than Thunderous. The only issue is uh, if they protect the Thunderous, but they definitely weren't AV judging by the damage I dealt to them. I think they might protect, but there's no reason to protect, to be honest. That Incinor is also within play rough range. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack. I'm literally just gonna attack. That Incineroar should be in play rough range. And we're in the rain. I feel good about this. Let's go. Okay. Critical hit probably didn't matter. I'm adamant. Wild charge. Even that like a like a champ. Like a champ. And uh, now I got Thunder Wave to carry me through the rest of this game. Also, Eerie Impulse. That's also great. Um, what matters more, though? Because there's definitely a, a Zacian and a Kyogre in the back. 
Ooh, setting up that rain early might be really nice because I can just prevent the Kyogre from having rain in the late game. That's actually going to be really clean. Um, Which is better? I think a permanent Eerie... I think they're going to protect... I, I definitely think they're going to protect the Zashi in this turn and go for like a Scarf Kyogre KO. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to protect here and I'm going to go for the Eerie Impulse. And if I'm lucky, I might survive... Okay, they didn't protect. And I do get the Eerie Impulse off. I feel really good about this late game if I keep my... my um, If I can keep my Thunderous, I feel really good about this late game. Let's also see if there's Scarf. They're not Scarf because there's Ashi went first. I might actually keep my Thunderous here. Miss. Okay, no miss. Live? Oh, you're crazy, dude. You're crazy. This Pokemon's disgusting. All right. Uh, I got to hard focus this this uh, Zacian now. 100%. Got to focus all of my efforts on this Zacian. Uh, let's go for the Behemoth Blade because I can 1v1 that thing with my uh, AVE Veltal now. Thunder Wave into Behemoth Blade. This Thunder Wave's super important. Make sure I don't get one shot uh, on my Evel Tall before I can attack. All right, I got my Thunder Wave off. I should win. Like, everything is going in my favor at this point. Including this full para? Question mark? Or the crit? Question mark? Okay, not, not full crit, or not full para. Probably. All right, why do I feel like that does less than the Origin Pulse would? All right, uh, I win by spamming Snarl now. That shouldn't KO me due to my extreme bulk. Due to my thick boy nature. Due to my thick fella energy. Dude, I'm sorry to hear about that hard. Okay. And I can lock down this endgame pretty effectively by going for player off on the Kyogre. And sucker punching this guy. Guarantee I go first. Just getting rid of him. Get protected. That's fine. I still get the player off off. That's all that matters. Nice. Uh, and now both of them are in range of Snarl. Miss. Augers. I win. Please make that a t-shirt. Well, make, make what a t-shirt? I'm, I'm forgetting what I said. Okay. Uh, yeah, now we just Behemoth Blade you. Sucker Punch you. And that's always a win. Actually, there's not even a reason to Sucker Punch Dark Pulse. No, there is a reason to Sucker Punch. I actually don't know if you're faster than me. Alright, good game. Alright. Behemoth Blade, Sucker Punch, they have no way of avoiding this attack. Regardless of what they do, they lose this turn. Nice. So far, day one's going pretty decent.